Hello everybody, welcome to PC Building Simulator 2. I'm going to be playing this today. I've not played the first game, so this is going to be new for me entirely. But I am going to play the career mode. I hope everybody enjoys. Local fire suspicious. Police looking for witnesses. Okay. Welcome to PC Building Simulator 2. It's a new day and a new shop. It might not look like much, but it's all you have since the old mysterious... Oh, okay. So I guess that's how they go from the one to two is your old shop. Mysteriously burns down. Okay. Take a note from Uncle Tim to find out more. Ooh, okay. So I guess you've seen the old shop or what's left of it. Sorry, I wasn't there to take uh, the edge off the shock, but I've got a meeting to go with the insurance company to discuss the fire. Apparently, they think it might have been deliberate. What a crazy idea. Anyway, it's lucky I had this old place. Uh, as standby, I managed to rescue the PCs I was working on before the fire, and I've moved them all here. Okay, so I get the gist of it. Walk over to the delivery boxes. Waiting for you back for a shop. Left click on them to pick them up. Back here, I guess. Oh, yeah, okay, I can see it highlighted. Oh, what is going on with my game? Okay, sorry about that. My game was stuttering a bit, so I had to fix my settings. Uh, something was going on with it. Huh, 3080. I, uh, I have almost the same card. I have the 3080 Ti myself. Let's see. RTX 3080. Ask me to him how to manage to hold one of these. Yeah, I know. It was crazy. 30 series was so hard to get for a long time. And we got us a PC here. So, set it on the workbench here, I guess. Okay. Needs to be fixed. Left click on the PC case to put it into build mode. Okay. Okay, so I click and hold. Gotcha. This is very similar to a uh, car mechanic. Missing GPU, yeah. I played car mechanic sim. Back in the day, it was, uh, was it 2018? So I, the whole click and hold mechanic is very similar to that. But uh, I, I do actually build PCs myself in real life. I enjoy doing it. So I have kind of an idea of how to do this already. Uh, but I myself have never actually played the game. So it'll be interesting to see like how close it is to uh, real life. Real life. Uh, in terms of building these. I see. So I have to go back. Put every piece in. Gotcha. Well, I'm glad I don't have to grab every single little screw. That saves some time. Connect the power supply, of course. There we go. And what am I side panel back on? Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, it's... Fairly similar to how you do it in real life. You know, you just put the parts in, hook up the power, reassemble. Sometimes, it, in real life at least, it'd probably be better to check to make sure all the parts are functioning before putting the whole PC back together, but... We'll just let it go with the game. Okay, so pick up, place under... Okay. Oh, is that going to be my PC? Okay. Uh, P to switch on. Welcome to your email. This is where you get your job offers, messages, and offers will arrive here. Check it every day to keep on top of your business. Okay. Let me see. So, just click it. I see. Okay, so I have to paint the case red. Okay. Artist. Okay. And I just accept it on the way. This recipe to take a day to arrive, so it won't show up until you end the day. Okay, gotcha. Then I can check my accepted here. I see. What's this one? You're ready to begin the job. Left click here. Okay. Uh, I want to get my PC fixed at your shop, but found only an empty space, a pleasant, smoky aroma. Uh, I gather that you are no longer in business at that address. A passing firefighter did tell me that you were opening a new workshop nearby, so I thought I'd drop you an email. Okay. So I'm just removing viruses. Okay. It, oh, it just, okay, it just teleported me. I was confused for a second there. First job, let's see how to, okay. So it's gonna show me how to, I guess, do the virus removal now. 
uh, right here. Workbench, begin working with the PC. At the right place. Oh, okay, I just click on the PC itself. Virus scanning. Uh, customer wants virus removed from their PC. You'll need to use a USB stick loaded with a virus removal software. Luckily, you have one in your inventory. Okay. So, USB. Oh, okay, so now I hook all of this up, yeah. Hook that up. Pretty easy, you just... Pick and choose. Okay. So now I just need to, oh, I see power it on. Go to the monitor. All right, let's scan this PC and see how many viruses this guy has. Wow, 657. That's a lot of viruses. <laughs> All right, clean files. Oh, remember, be careful where you download stuff online, people. All right, completed. And I exit, exit. Virus scan complete. You've removed viruses. PC is ready to be returned to the client. Pick up the PC right click. Place it in the corridor. Okay. Um, I'm just leaving my USB in there? I should probably turn it off, yeah? And not turn it off. I just got to pick it up. Okay. <laughs> just rip the whole power cables and everything out? That's sure. <laughs> All right. Ready to ship. Great. The PC will automatically be sent back to its owner. Now you just need to collect your pay, go to the email, and hit collect. Okay, so once I finish, I just have to go back to my email. Gotcha. Collect. 120 bucks just to remove some viruses. That's pretty good. Uh, the PC is on its way back to the customer. If you've been paid, on to the next job. The other PCs on the workbenches are now available, so check out your emails to see what other customers want to complete their jobs and earn some cash. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. Okay, so I completed that one, so let's see what else we have. So, I know I accepted the paint at red one. What is this one? I have to set all RGB lighting effects. Okay, you gotta send your PC to somebody to do that, I guess. Overclock CPU to at least 4313 megahertz. Interesting, okay. And then water cool. So these are all of the four I have accepted right now. Do I already have those here? Like, are they in here? No. So, let me see here. What What am I... Which one should I do first? I guess I'll do... Oh, okay, that, I see. That one's still in transit. So I have these three then? Because it says I can go to PC, but I don't know where those are at. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, they're in this back room on the workbenches already. Gotcha. All right, so what am I doing to this one? Okay, so I'm water cooling this one. Customer wants you to water cool their GPU and add it to their existing water cooled loop. To do this, we need to remove the GPU and add a GPU cooling block. Interesting. Okay, so this will be interesting. I'm trying to remove it. It's not letting me. There it goes. All right. And there's that removed. Uh, move the workbench next to you to add a water cooling block to the GPU. Okay, I see. So now I get to dis disassemble a 3090. Workbench, we need to add a GPU block to it. First, you need to remove the screws and the heat sink. Yes. Yep, this looks very similar to uh, my current graphics card because I have a 3080 Ti, so it has a very similar shroud and everything to this. Okay, so now we need to replace the thermal pads. Left click to zoom in. I see. Okay, it's just click, click, click. Easy enough. All right, so now I assume I have to go... Okay, so it's having me put new ones on first. Then I assume I'm going to have to go to the store and buy the water block. Because I assume I don't have the water block. Yep. Next, we need to... Oh, wait, no. This is thermal paste now. So, uh, increase the heat efficiency of the heat sink CPU and its heat sink. Yes, I know what thermal paste does. Oh, I see. I wasn't even paying attention. It has all the steps over here. So, 
clean the old one. It's always good to clean off old paste anytime you need to replace it. Let's get the new on. So now I just need block. I don't. Uh, okay, yeah, it's just gonna. Perfect. Let's get this guy on. And put all these screws back in. Did I take this many screws off when I first disassembled it? I don't think I did. It's a lot more screws this time. Okay. Uh, now, okay, yep, just add it to the inventory and now I just reinstall it. Oh, chill out. Okay, I got an achievement. Uh, GPU successfully water cooled. Take it back to the PC on the workbench to install it. Gotcha. I can do that. Uh, graphics. There we go. So now I think I just need to. Yeah. Hook it all up. And then I think I just need to hook up the tubing. Yeah, right there. Piping. Gotcha. Into the reservoir. Reservoir back into the card. And back to the radiator. It's all soft tubing, but it'll still work. And I'm just putting the PC back together, right? Uh, another loop is complete. You just need to decide on which coolant. Okay, so I just need to pick the coolant. So did they specify what flavor? Or what flavor? <laughs> what flavor coolant they want? Uh, what color coolant? I don't think they did. So, I think I'll just pick, uh, I think I'll just go with a red. I don't think they specified it. So, yeah, now I just need to, yeah, I just need to check. Oh, there goes all the fluid. <laughs> all right. Water cooling complete. All right. So now I just need to hook the PC up, right? Uh, where is... That? Oh, removed components, there we go. Oh, there we go, cables, that, that's why. Gotta actually click the option to install the cables and then I can do it. There we go. Now I can test it. Confused there, it wasn't letting me pick, click the cables because I didn't actually choose to attach cables down there. Oh, I didn't want to work on it more. I wanted to pick it up. There we go. So there's two PCs done today. Uh, I think I just got these other two here. Okay, so this is the lighting. Lighting up allows you to create great effects on customers' PCs. For this job, uh, the customer wants the lights to be set to rainbow with a walk effect. Let's get started. Okay. So, select all. They want the rainbow with a walk effect. <laughs> Shine on, I got another achievement. Uh, make sure to uh, take the PC back to the delivery area to collect your awards. Okay. So that should be it for that PC then, that was easy. Uh, yep, just place in. Place it back over here. There we go. And I guess let's finish off this last PC here. And then I assume it'll tell me how to go to the next day. Uh, so overclocking. So this will be interesting to see how the overclocking in the game works. There we go. I have to actually press the F2 key on my PC to get into that. All right, so I think they said they wanted 4313 for the overclock minimum. Uh, this is where you can see the PC's hardware settings and tweak them to add more power. Yep. For this job, we'll be going to the overclock CPU. Yep. So I have to get... Oh, the CPU uh, speed shows how fast the CPU runs. Its function is based on clock times the ratio. So here's 100 megahertz times 40 to give 4,000. Yes. Uh, you can tweak it either value to change the overall frequency, but normally you use ratio for big changes and the base clock for smaller ones. Yep. 
increase CPU core uh, 4400. This increased 4400. Yeah, 4400 megahertz. And I got to increase it to 1.35 volts. There we go. Apply changes and restart. So that's fairly similar to how you would actually do it in real life. There's a few more things, depending on your, uh, who manufactures your board, it can, the BIOS can look different, but it's fairly straightforward. Uh, double click, uh, no, you normally have to install OCCT, okay. So next time I go to Overclock, I'll have to install this app. Gotcha. OCCT can be used to stress test a CPU and GPU after overclocking to check stability. It can also show if a CPU is getting thermally throttled from running too hot. A CPU will not run efficiently if it gets too hot under load to begin left click continue. Yeah, that, that's definitely a for sure thing. You you definitely want to make sure uh, your PC is not overheating after an overclock. I, my younger brother, his PC is a uh, it's been overheating, but I think that's because his uh his water cooler's actually died, so he has a new one coming. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the test. And I just gotta wait for 30 seconds, okay. Test is done, monitoring, successful test. Alrighty. Overclocking CPU complete, take PC back to delivery area. All right, so let's turn that off. That won't let me, okay, that's fine. Complete. So now I just gotta go, every time I stand up, my mouse goes crazy on me, spins me around. There we go, that's, Three PCs done. I think that was all of the ones I had. So let's go ahead. 270 books. 220. 320. Uh, all done. Phew, just one last thing to do. Uh, let's give your business a new name. Go back to the hallway. Left click on the business name panel. Okay. All right, so I thought about it for a minute, so I think I'm just gonna go with something simple. So I'm just gonna do uh, LEPS PC repair. No point in doing anything too crazy. So I'll just do that. Uh, nice, looks like you're now the proud manager of LEPS PC repaired. Uh, don't worry if you change your name, uh, if you change your mind, you can rename your visit anytime. Okay, uh, it's everything for today, so go to the door. Okay, so I just go out the door when I'm done for the day, okay. I'll just leave it as that for now. I might change it eventually. If you guys have any good names for, you know, if you think of any good names I could do for my uh, business here, feel free to leave a comment down below. Give me some ideas. But for now, I'll just leave it as something simple. <laughs> Let's go ahead and end the day and uh, get on to the next one. On a day's work, here you can end your day and advance to tomorrow. You don't need to buy any new parts yet, but in the future, you may need to check you have ordered everything you need before going home. You can look at this calendar at any time to keep track of all of your jobs, deliveries, deadlines, and bills. Okay, I see. So basically, if I like accept a job and it says that they're having me replace a graphics card or something, I need to make sure I have the graphics card order so that when I get the customer's thing, I have it. Oh, and I can't. I, okay, so I can see I got to pay rent and everything here. Okay, let's end the day. And move on to the next one. Good morning. I hope you slept well. We have a busy day ahead. You accepted a job yesterday and the customer's PC has arrived. It needs to be painted red, so take it to your workbench and let's get spring. All right. Let's see how this... Oh, let's see how this works. Changing your work, workbench type. For this job, you will need to change the and refit the workbench... Okay, case customization, highlight workbench, press B to change its type. C. Ah, interesting. I got build mode, case modding, and water cool. Cool. Okay, so I just need to paint it red. Customer has requested the entire case be painted red. Select the spray paint can to start uh, painting. So... Let's give them a little bright red. Uh, use an oscillator to increase the size, make it easier to spray the whole machine. Okay. Buster wants the glass sprayed too. Okay. 
That works. It makes my job easier. Just paint the whole thing, even the glass. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so let me see. Hold the left click to spray paint. Cover both sides. Oh, okay, so I, I just right click to rotate. I see. Just paint the whole thing. <laughs> Easy enough. Uh, can I paint the front? It doesn't. Oh, okay, there it goes. Didn't seem like it was letting me paint it for a second. Okay, nice work. All sides are red and the job is complete. Now take the PC back to the delivery area and go to the customer's email to collect your payment. Yep. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to click back into it. There we go. I don't know why you'd want to paint everything, even the glass, on a case, but hey, to each their own, I guess. <laughs> oh, I got a new one in. Uh, so super stoked to see a new repair shop in town. Totally sucks what happened to the last one. I hope they catch the guy who did it. Anyway, the air cooler in my computer is busted, and the whole thing is really uncool. Like, literally uncool. I can feel the heat coming off it. Can you replace it for me? Uh, replace the air cooler. So... Yeah, I need to buy, yep, some jobs require new additional or replacement components. So let's order a new air cooler for the customer's PC. Gotcha. All right, so I'll do that. Uh, let, me, let me complete this one first. Um, oh, I I don't know why it's telling me to, okay, it's, it's going to force me to go to the shop. That's fine. Uh, CPU cooling. Filters. Add the basket. Uh, test tracker allows you to allocate parts to specific jobs. This window can be brought up by interacting with the link icon and check out delivery section or inventory. Okay. So, yeah, that's nice. So I can assign it to that specific job so I don't have to worry about forgetting where I've put it. Nice. All right. Uh, well done. You've ordered a new part. You can use a calendar to check any new parts when they arrive. Yeah. Okay, so continue shopping, and then let's go back to my email so I can complete that other job real quick. Wouldn't let me because I accepted that other one, but let's complete that. Okay. Bootstrapping. Another achievement. <laughs> uh, delivery received. Look, look. Oh, okay. I already received it. What did I get? Oh, I got a tablet. A uh, tablet that will assist you in managing your business. You can read emails, shop, run apps, etc. While, all while on the move. Cool. Present from Uncle Tim. Uncle Tim is... Yeah, okay. Yeah, he just sent me a new tablet. Help me run the business. Gotcha. Uh, T to open the tablet. Your new tablet. Your new tablet is now ready uh, to use. Apps. Okay. Interesting. So I can use this... For decorations, I guess. Okay, so... Let me decorate app. Big Bob has agreed to redecorate your shop. Oh, for free. Cool. Uh, you can change floor, ceiling, walls, posters, desks, and many other features. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. Desk detected. Oh. I see. So I can choose. So what... Cool. What does that look like? Oh, another achievement. Grand designs. I like wood flooring. Oh, yeah, I like wood flooring. All right. Cool. And then I can check my email from here, too, I see. Oh, I leveled up. Bunch of new stuff unlocked. Awesome. Okay, so that is a lot of stuff. <laughs> I have already accepted that, and I think that is the only other thing I have. So it's I think that's pretty much it for the day. So let's go ahead and end the day, go into day three. And I should have the next PC and everything. So yep, there it is. And that should also be the new cooler right here. But I think I'm going to leave that for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'm enjoying this. It's definitely very... You know, from the little bit that I've done so far, it's definitely close to what I do in real life when it comes to building PCs and everything. Uh, so I'm excited to see uh, how this goes. You know, just see how far I can get. But yeah, if, again, if you have any ideas for uh, what I should name my shop other than that, 
Make sure you leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.